Through meteorologist Graham Campbell here with short term forecast issued on what December 5th, 2011. Yeah, what's up? We've been getting so much snow on this day for the past 10 years. But we got no snow today, we just got cloudy conditions, which is you know not as good as what we've been seeing all weekend where we saw beautiful conditions. But will we see any rain with these clouds? Rain. We'll find out how much more today's short term forecast. But let's take a look at our data climatology before we take a look at our forecast. And bam, look at that 57. Wow. That's 12 degrees above normal, y'all. Normal high is 45, but, you know, this high that we had, there's nothing compared to record high of 78 set back in 2001, all right? And we had a low of 34 this morning. What's that? That's, that's what? That's 6 degrees above our normal low of 28. Clearly, we didn't hit a record low of 11, which was set back 1926. Woo! Long time ago. That's three quarters of a century ago. Let's move on to our radar. Look at that. Look at all that blue over Texas. Texas again snow. We're not. What is this world coming to? Whew, that's crazy. But look at all this green off to our west. That's filled with one of these guys. Yeah, what else? We always talk about them. Cold fronts. They'll be going to bring cold weather to our area. Right? I mean, that's like crazy. Because, and then, but here's the crazy thing. We're not going to be seeing that much from it. We're going to see this disturbance right along it. And that's going to be bringing much of this precip that we see right here. Bam off to our north and west but here's the kicker moving on to tomorrow we will see another disturbance coming right along the front as the front stalls over our region and that's going to be bringing ready for this boom oh my god precip right over our area so we could see some steady rain tomorrow y'all but pff, that's nothing let's let's just move on let's just move on how how do i get rid of this all right look at that cold temperatures y'all we see that cold front bam right there like i was saying all right now that's crazy that's crazy because we got this nice little dip dip right there all oh, that cold air brewed into our region what man it's, it's in the 30s it's below freezing in texas well bam look at this ready for this bam warm air warm air with this system so we are seeing bam this warm flow southwest flow southwest flow is awesome because we're seeing like Fall temperatures in fall. Actually, it's a little bit warmer than fall. Y'all, that's crazy. That's crazy. And they're getting cold temperatures 300 miles off to our west with snow. That's crazy, but we're not seeing snow. I want snow, guys, so bad. But, all right, let's 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 move on and look at our future forecast. Bam. Oh, my God, that rain I was telling you about. Moving on to tonight. Look at that. It's going off to our north. Oh, my God. All right, but that's nothing special because that cold front slowly makes its way towards us. Look at that. Oh, my God, we got showers. We got showers. That's another little, you know, disturbance right there. You can see it. See it right there. Oh my god, look, the serpent's right here. Oh my god, it's getting precept. It's raining all over us. Oh my god. But, but, but that's nothing, y'all, because that's only a few showers. Nothing like what we've been seeing all year. This is one of the wettest years we've seen in a long time. It's crazy, so this is really nothing. So why are we complaining about this? Look, a little bit more showers for, for tomorrow night. No one really cares about that. It's just a little stalled out front. whoop de do. We're still seeing crazy warm temperatures. That's a big story, the warm temperatures. We're so high above normal. And let's finish it up with our weather information center's forecast, where we have mostly cloudy and mild temperatures today. Wow. Miles, it's going to be 58. This is the long one. This is from earlier today. This thing didn't update. Let's update it real quick. All right. And update it with the right one. Uh, that's this guy right here. Bam. All right. Oh, look, it's updated. Bam. And we're going to have a few passing showers with a low of 50. That's five degrees above our normal high. That's insane how warm that is. Five degrees above our normal high? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. This is why I don't drink coffee. And then look. Tomorrow, periods of rain with that second system making its way through the region along the cold front. It's going to be mild again. It's going to be 56. That's 11 degrees above our normal high. That's insane. And then tomorrow night, it's going to be cloudy, and the rain will be ending as that system moves out of the area. But the cold front will still be like kind of parked over the area. It's going to be kind of weird. But we're going to have a low of 40, which is still above our normal high or normal low of like, I don't know, 28 or something. Which, we're, we're this is insanely high warm temperatures. Okay, that is it, guys. That is what you got. For the forecast, this is the most intense forecast you've probably ever seen. You guys are loving it, but I am out. All right, so big recap. What's the big recap, y'all? Tell me. No. No. It's cloudy and warm with a little bit of rain. Rain never hurt anybody. Oh, my God. And, oh, my God, look at this behind me. Happy holidays, y'all. Peace.